This is Fox 45 in the morning. Still to come, mom is the word. That's because we're talking flowers live on the patio with Bell Nursery. Hear all about fall plants and what you can do to prepare your garden for the cooler temperatures to come. All right, thank you, Chris. Well, mom's the word when it comes to gardening. And right now, we're thinking about fall. And I'm here with Mark Kolath, and he's with Bell Nurseries. And you have this beautiful display with us. And so right now, is it too soon to start planting for fall? No, now's a good time to start planting for fall. I mean, you want to get it in the ground this month before the month of October begins so that they can get acclimated. And I brought several things today. I uh, love the flowers that you have. Now, kind of t walk us through what sure. you have out here. We have, obviously, we have your garden mums, and I have them in several sizes. I have them in a six inch, an 8 inch, a 10 inch, a 13 inch. We have them in hanging baskets and uh, we have a beautiful whiskey barrel that's 15 inches. Uh, these are all great for decorating your patio. You can get them all at the Home Depot. Uh, you can also plant them in your yard. Now to my left, these are your annuals. This is what you want to plant every year, Typically, right? yes. Your mums are considered an annual here in Ohio and we have decorative plants that can go with it. We have cabbage and we have some kale. Uh, another great way to decorate ornamental peppers. You, know, you can make, I mean, right now your gardens are green and they're really like kind of flat looking. Right. You should spray it up with those bright colors out here. And so when is the, the best time to mulch? Mulching probably we should start in October. You want to start in October, late September. Um, so it's all pre-mulched for the winter. Um, and it keeps it nice, you know, warm throughout the winter season. And while trying to maintain the garden and get uh, it beautiful, is it best to prune now? No, you want to save your pruning and your splitting of your perennials. And on this side, I also brought some beautiful perennials for you. It's still a good time. You can get your perennials in the ground in the next three or four weeks so they can get acclimated to the warm soil. Uh, best time to split or move an existing perennial is going to be in the spring. And the same time, same thing for your pruning is going to be at the spring. But we have tons of variety at Home Depot to see you be able to pick up. And so we're going to walk over to the side with the perennials and kind of sure. walk us through what's over on this side. I love these ones yeah, up here. Yeah, we have some beautiful euchanasia or a coneflower uh, that's available in our stores. We have some beautiful daisies. I have some beautiful tick seed and some dianthus, uh, stone crop or what we call the sedum or stone crop okay. that will change to a fall color. Now, starts blooming. Oh, that's gorgeous. And yeah. so for people who are not familiar with the garden right. or just maybe starting out, what's the easiest thing to maintain? The easiest thing to maintain is what we have is what we call these fall <laughs> drop in blooms. Uh, we had these in a spring color, mm -hmm. but this is our fall version. It's all pre-mixed for color. You just drop it in your pot and it, boom, it's ready for fall. Absolutely it's great. gorgeous. Also, I brought some pansies in today, which these are the cool weather pansies and they'll last uh, you know, through the very cooler nights um, as we get into, you know, the fall. So those can also be planted. Uh, so it's a great item to have as well as the cool weather pansies. All right, well, thank you so much, Mar welcome, Mark, for joining us. us. Beautiful display out here. If you want any of these flowers, you can go to Home Depot. We have all the information on our website, fox45now.com. And let's send it back over to Chris. And Chris, how does it look today to do some planting?